guys, Mike Atreki here. Um, this is a very special episode. It's a new ship I'm gonna be working on. Well, let's just say this: someone has left a bundle on my doorstep. By that, I mean I'm gonna give you a little backstory here. Um, I'm gonna position my mic a little bit. My speaker's off. I'm not sure why. Okay. So, um, what was I? Oh yeah. Um. Me, Peter Bot. Why did I call him Peter Bot? That's not a YouTube name. MCPE Sci-Fi Films, yada yada, Hiccup vs Gaming, Killer Waffles, and Deidre, but he never got to get on because server went down at that beforehand. So there you go. Um, well. We are working on the ship I'm about to show you. I think you, if you are subscribed to Killer Waffles, you've seen it. He did a little tour. We haven't finished it yet, but he can't do run a server anymore because it's just texting his computer. He might. He, he can. I'm just gonna give him the world back if he feels up to it. So here it is. This is what we've been working on, it's an ambassador class. We haven't given it a name yet. I'm the sole person working on this right now. <laughs> so, most of deck 3, that was me. Just had a light spike. I did most of repetitive work, like the. I did a lot, I did all the labs, I think, on deck 3. The roof, the corridors, and the corridor roof. This room, that room, the offices. I think it's all the offices are done. So I'm currently working on this area right here. I didn't do the hall deck though. I still gotta do this and this. So I'll show you around. Um, I might give you a tour at some point. If you want a complete tour. I'll give you a link in the description or just give you a, a little annotation thing just showing you so they have waffles did a little tour of the place we have deck 1 and deck 2 done oh. 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 this is deck 2 let me get myself a wand why should we fail at this just gonna go in through the airlock. Ah, I forgot it's been sealed. Oh, this is my room. The love seat. Trekkie dibs. Yeah, I tell dibs on this. Do not move while she. Yeah. Just warning me not to move anything. Still gotta do the roof of this place. I forget. This is also my doing right here. Everything else. Well, I'm not going to say what everyone else did because I'm not going to differentiate. I think that was Hiccup or XD, not sure. If they were real troopers with this ship, I thought it was a Minogo. I guess it is. But, it's been working out pretty well. If I go up to deck one, I could show you the main bridge. Sorry, the lag bothers you, but I can't. I don't know who made this, but there should not be a window here. So here's the main bridge. You go around here. I didn't like this in the firm at first, but it was it kind of grew on me. I like it. I'm gonna have to, yeah. If waffles, if you're watching that, please tell me what that is. I'm not sure why there's a blue line there. Is that it didn't serve any purpose or anything? This is not a server anymore, he can't run it anymore. This goes down to the main trunk line. <coughs> ah, sorry. <sighs> um have sixty subs, I can burp in my videos if I want. Why was he gonna hate me for saying this? Um okay. Let you know, this is gonna be a weird ship saucer because 
you take it down, look it down here. I proposed this to Waffles, but I didn't really like the idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I'm just all-knowing. So, I had this plan to do like a, a promenade type thing. Just um, between deck 7 and 6, because deck 7 is a hell deck. Let's see, deck 7, deck 6, I'm thinking a promenade would look really good. Just like on DS9. Because if you're on a ship with tons of civilians, as it is an ambassador class, it's going to have civilians. It's not really a warship. You're going to need somewhere for everyone to just hang around where you can replicate stuff. Not really any currency unless you hire a Ferengi like Cork. Of course, why would you go there if it requires money? And nowhere else does, so. I just like to say, Waffles, you did a fantastic job on this right here. Well, he did a fantastic job on everything he did. Waffles did this, I don't know what the crap he's doing, but I'm just gonna trust him. This deflector right here is my design. Everyone seemed to like it, I guess. No, I changed it a little bit. Uh, I like, I like the changes. Might have to continue that. That says warp four there too. Here, I'll show you my engineering. It's probably gonna be a pretty long video. I don't like processing the long videos. Okay, here's the main engineering I designed. I don't know how big it is in comparison to the secondary hull. This is a little elevator I made that leads up to here. There's a little diagnostic chamber there. I still don't know if I can implement it yet. I'm not sure if I like it anymore. Here's that. Here's the diagnostic console. Guess I get into the elevator. Go up. Go in here. There. Okay. Go in here and you can look out. Yeah, I think I might actually use this if I'm going to have to do something with the ceiling a little bit better. Here's some other core designs. Let's see if I can remember. There's some shenanigans people were doing. I think MC PE was doing a bunch of stuff over there. So, um, this is Hiccups. This is mine. We were arguing about how whether or not a warp core should be fat. But even though this is really fat and it's really grown on me, I like it. So, I thought I was going to be in it, be the one to be chosen. He thought he was going to be the one to be chosen. And guess what? Waffles blows out of the water, it makes us look stupid, like Waffles usually does. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to give you a tour of the entire thing, I'm just showing you what we have done so far. I'm personally proud of this, it wasn't just me who did it though. Here's an impulse engine I was working on. I didn't make the engine, I'm just making the room. Here's some escape pods. I think they're the ones we were making on the Voyager we were making. We might revisit that, I'd have to ask Quaffles about it. I'm not really sure what this is, it's sort of like something you'd see on DS9, I guess. It leads into a massive arboretum. I didn't do very much on this, I wasn't really there much for this particular part of the build. But it was awesome, I loved it. I'm still not a big fan of these windows, I think they should all be the same color. Okay, one question Waffles, what is this? Just comment, what is this? I don't know what this is. I'm going to have my work cut out for me, world edit wise. This is going to be easy to put in though. If you're going to work on, and just a tip everyone, if you're going to work on a big ship like this, use world edit and move decks away so you can work on them separately. It makes things a lot easier, trust me. Okay, you guys are probably going to be nagging me. You weren't probably wondering what the Kelvin is doing here. Well, I asked Waffles. 
if I could work on my Kelvin on a server, which was kind of a stupid idea considering if, it, if the server ever got corrupted. This also got corrupted, so yeah. That's not very good, but. Holy oh, crap! I can't stop yawning, okay. This looks terrible, I know, but I don't have the right texture pack on right now. I'll just show you what I have done with the Kelvin right now. I've been doing quite a bit. Not really. Hey, I think Hiccup did this. Yeah, I did. Probably Hiccup, yeah. This looks like a Hiccup type thing to do. Here's the main refrigerator unit for the that area. Doing some pillars, but I'm probably going to get rid of them because they're terrible. I finally learned how to do pillars and... I'd rather unlearn how I did these ones, so... Here's the main deuterium tanks. Not sure if I ever showed you guys this. But I... I think I did, actually. It was one of the updates. I'd have to look, but... The pump goes through here to the warp core. I still need deuterium pumps to go to the... Actually, to the warp core, that other pump just goes to the fusion reactors. This is, I can show you that problem I had. Um, I wasn't paying attention with world edit, and I accidentally turned the floor into Swiss cheese, so I'm going to have to fix that at some point. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Before I say this, um, those of you who are on my Facebook, I would let you know, I said I had 100 videos. I don't. I missed calc calculator. Thanks to FCPE, he told me I don't. Due to his widget wizardry with counting. He didn't actually count, he just checked on the website. He, yeah. So I do not have that much. I'm disappointed, but... That's what you get when you do YouTube. Okay, um, I think I show you this MC kind of did a new bridge for me. It sure beats my other one. I suck at making bridges. You can see everything out this window, except for the back. Yeah, that was funny. I'm sorry. He did more of a wraparound for the. Yeah, this is gonna be my last video in one. Dot 11. I'm gonna be updating to 1.11.2 for Mind Trek because they need me. Actually, I'm just sort of a, a wallpaper when I'm there until I get a, a job to do. So, yeah, you people on Facebook, sorry, I lied. So, anything else on the, on the ambassador? Oh, I need a poll. So, you go into the comments and tell me what to call a ship because it's been a dilemma that and everyone on the server has been just toiling some of them have been coming up with some pretty immature answers but I'm not gonna do that say that because I was doing that too so ah one more thing one more thing before my dad comes out here due to just random reasons okay Oh, we made some runabouts. This is a, what's it called? Type 11, I think? Oh, this is Type 11 right here. Holy <sighs> crap! Oh, Jesus! Uh, I think mine's down there. Waffle well, took my design and just changed it around a little bit. Mine's a short range shuttle. But he, I completely forgot to put quarters in here so he did that for me up here here's secondary design he put quarters in it I'm sorry about the lag it's starting to lag up not sure why and here's a move out there here's another one I so happened to teleport into that is a cool cockpit I like it good to see you waffles
Oh, and also waffles. I think this is a pretty cool design you just did. So you go around the corridor, it branches off into one single corridor about four wide. I'm gonna do something really cool with that. I hope. And you get this. There's a wall here, but there's no wall in the middle until there. This is a wall right here. Here we go. There you go. That is a pretty cool design, I must say, Waffles. You, you gotta dig yourself there. It's just a little hangout place. You're gonna have to figure out what to do here, though. Actually. A lot of this could probably be torpedo storage. Because you're gonna need a lot of that. You want to defend a bunch of civilians. But I can't have too much, especially next to the warp core. So, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys when later, and... Let me find my pedestal. find it. I'll just go to my engineering and just say bye. But first I'm gonna snag his thumbnail real quick. My computer is running running like a champ today. I've been working on this non-stop for the past three hours and it's not breaking a sweat. Getting some lag with OBS but that's fine. <laughs> okay, there's my thumbnail. And... There. Oh, there's also some other shuttles over here. I'm not sure who made all these. I think that's my Type 9 shuttlecraft. Not sure whose that is. Oh, I see. I think someone, whoever made this, made it with my texture pack. That's why they make cobblestone seats. Here's my sort of defiant esque shuttle. I haven't done much with the inside yet. Not sure if I am, because it's not probably not gonna be going in the ship anyways. It's not my best work. I'm not the best at making shuttles. I'm gonna see if I am gonna see if I can talk to Waffles, see if he can teach me the how to use this. Well he imported this giant picture of the ship, I'm not sort of really sure what to do with it, so I have to ask him for help with that. Um, Waffles, this doesn't line up. Here's a bomb with saucer and it doesn't actually line up. It's one too high. Or perhaps, it could be that the entire picture is a little bit too... one block too high. Let me find the lower part of this area. Ah, uh, there's a laser array. So, grab that. Yes, it appears I can sort of tell from here that's a little bit too high. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, too high. So, I think I'm going to move that down one. Just so that whenever I do so I do do something with it, I can... It's not all misaligned, so there's my thumbnail, and I'm ready, and I think we're going to let you guys go. Just drop down on the ground. Five. See you guys later, and uh, if you guys enjoyed, and... Uh,